Hey YouTubers, this is Richard with you again, and I'm coming at you with my weekly Grave Keepers deck profile. Didn't do great at Locals last night, uh, I'm going to make some changes this week. Any suggestions you guys can leave me in the comments below will be greatly appreciated this week. Other than that, I might just go back to two weeks ago's profile. Alright, so starting off, of course, we have three Commandant. Three spies, three recruiters, and two descendants for the basic Gravekeeper monster lineup. And then where it starts to get different, I run two Heretic, I run one Assailant, one Gravekeeper Shaman, and this week I actually added a Malefic Cyber End Dragon to my main deck. Came in useful, but I got a little too excited to use it and pulled it out a little too early and it got beaten both times I used it. Alright, that's it for monsters. And we're going to start with spells now. Still have, of course, three Necro Valley. Two Stele. And a Royal Tribute for the Royal Pyramid. Next. Two Pots of Duality. Don't think I need three. Two Mystical Space Typhoons, one Book of Moon, still maining Dark Hole, and still sticking with Magical Dimension. I use this card every game. It is just powerful, powerful card in this deck. Trap lineup coming up next. One Rite of Spirit. Got, uh, thinking I'm still trying to make room for a second one. Actually, I might take one of these out, but I still have... Three Imperial Tombs of Necro Valley. Might might get that down to two to add that second right of spirit. Two Fiendish Chain. One Solemn Warning. One Black Horn of Heaven. One Starlight Road. Love that card. One Compulsory Evacuation Device. One Torrential Tribute. And I bumped it down to just one Mirror Force. And I have one bottomless trap hole. That's it for the main deck at 42 cards. Next for the extra. Number 101, Silent Honor Arc. Stardust Dragon for Starlight Road. And I have Malefic Stardust Dragon in my side. Diamond Direwolf. Gaga Ga Cowboy, Wind Condition. Maystroke for Stalling. Evil Swarm Nightmare, just a really good dark level 4 monster. Black a Ship of Corn for the win condition. Photon Pat. This is just an amazing level 4 card. Number 39, Utopia. Two Master Key Beetles. The Steel Swarm Roach, which I actually used against Prophecy yesterday to great effect. I have a number 85 crazy box for skill drain and shadow imprisoning mirror. Gym Knight Pearl for the same. And of course the Cyberin Dragon so I can special summon my Malefic Cyberin. And that's going to do it for the 15 card extra deck. Next is the side deck. And it's going to be one Wonder Wand, an extra magical dimension, one Spellbook of Wisdom. That's it for sided spells. Then I have a light imprisoning mirror, a skill drain, one overworked, one curse seal, the forbidden spell, great against fire fist and prophecy, one deck devastation virus for baby raccoons and the like, an extra right of spirit this week, Dina, fossil dino rather, an effect veiler, the gravekeeper's watcher, a thunder king Ryo. The Malefic Stardust Dragon, I can I usually side this out for Star, Starlight Road. And I replaced the Oracle with the Gravekeeper's Nobleman. That's it for the deck profile this week, guys. Like I said, didn't do great. Um, hoping for some suggestions in the comments below. Please like this video and subscribe for weekly Gravekeeper videos. I'll catch you next week.